Have you ever thought of the secret behind driving beaches? If not, in this video you will come to know about the secret behind the same. Hi everyone, I am Dr. Rajiv Kumar P. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss with you a numerical problem related to effect of capillary rise on the stresses in the soils. So this one is a 4 meter thick soil layer which is sand okay? and it has capillary rise from the water table to the ground surface. It is given in the question. You need to calculate the variation of stresses total neutral and effective stress at 1 meter, 2 meter and 4 meter depths. So this is the question. This is a typical question which is used to uh, appear in uh, in the university examination, gate examination, etc. So you should be thorough with this. Let us see how this numerical can be solved. And you see here, this is a photograph uh, of Muripilangar driving beach, Kanur. Okay, this is the Asia's longest driving beach, 5.5 km, which appeared in the BBC uh, some time ago. Okay, you can see here some motorists were driving in their vehicle and there are some vehicles parked near the uh, waterfront. Okay, so you can see how it, this happens. So what happens whenever there is a sandy soil? Okay, this is given sand, okay, fine sand and silt to some extent. So whenever there is a water body nearby, there will be capillary rise in the water body. Okay, this is due to the voids present in the uh, in the soil. Okay, so there will be negative pressure which will be developed uh, in the capillary zone. Okay, so due to the capillary rise, so there will be water uh, moving through the capillary pores. Okay, and moving up to the uh, ground surface. Okay, you can see in the uh, in this photograph there there is some uh, some kind of wetness throughout throughout this this region okay so and here also some kind of wetness you can see so this one is due to due to the capillary rise okay through the pores water moves up through the pores water moves up but in practically uh, practical situation uh, uh, some water will be vaporized some water may not uh, move to the ground surface okay it happens but in theoretical condition, we take this one as a completely saturated uh, foam. Okay, so this is the way the water moves in. Okay, there are capillary pores in in it, and water moves uh, above that uh, capillary pore. Okay, so this is what happens. Okay, so you you whenever you walk over here, so you will feel uh, a st a stability to move 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 on the beach. Okay, that is due to the negative pore water pressure, which will be counteracting the weight. Okay, which will be added when there is a negative pore water pressure, which will be added to the uh, total stress and the effective stress will be increased. Okay, that's what happened. We will see how it can be calculated. This will act as a negative pore water pressure at the same time, but it will it will add on to then it will add on to the total stress and uh, effective stress will be more. Okay, we will see how it can be done. Uh, remember, this happens with the sand type soils. Okay, and here in, a, in this typical question, it is given that uh, the water table, 2 meter depth, water table is at 2 meter depth and the capillary rise is up to the ground level. In some questions, in some questions, what happens is uh, they may not give you the capillary rise up to what height it is moving up. So you need to calculate that using the equation capillary height is equal to h z is equal to okay 0 0.03 divided by 20 percentage of d10 d10 is effective diameter okay this one you will get in meter okay but d10 is in millimeter 
you need to remember this okay in some questions it will uh, it will be like this so you need to calculate uh, uh, the height hc that is capillary height capillary capillary height is nothing but from water table how much is the height in which this capillary rise takes place so here it is given as hc is given hc is given here that is nothing but 2 meter from the water table 2 meter from the water table okay up to the ground level so you need to calculate this in some questions okay so point 0 0.03 divided by 20 percentage of effective diameter of the soil okay and the answer will be in meter okay. uh, it will add to the total stress and the effective stress will be increased so this uh, figure is drawn drawn again okay so you need to remember that the cap capillary rise is from this portion to the ground level okay so this portion water level water table to to the ground level so so we need to calculate uh, the saturated unit weight of uh, soil so which is given as sandy soil here sandy soil here so saturated weight both both the above and below water table the soil is saturated okay so you can calculate using this expression g plus e divided by 1 plus e into gamma w so you will get 20 kN per meter cube as saturated unit weight for the for the soil okay that is sand now you know that sigma is nothing but sigma prime plus u that is effective stress plus neutral stress or pore water pressure okay in one of the earlier uh, videos i have discussed about all these things you may check into that so in this tabular form we can uh, prepare the total stress neutral stress and effective stress how it can be calculated we will see one by one for total stress you know that uh, at the ground level there is no external loading so total stress remains zero okay so total stress remains zero and one meter depth so it doesn't have total stress uh, will not be influenced by capillary rise you need to remember that you can directly calculate it with respect to depth and unit weight you can calculate the uh, total stress so at one meter depth it is nothing but 1 into 20 kilonewton per meter cube 20 kilonewton per meter cube is the gamma saturated value for for the sand okay that is already calculated so throughout this you have one type of soil that is sand okay you can directly use it 20 kilonewton per meter cube and at 2 meter depth that 2 into 20 that is 40 kilonewton per meter square likewise at 4 meter depth it is 80 now uh, in this kind of problems it is better you start with the water table once you are thorough with this you can start straight away uh, from the ground level itself for the calculation of neutral stress i will show you how it can be done so at 2 meter level there is water table you remember at water table the neutral stress is zero okay even if there is capillary rise the neutral stress is zero so at water table that is at 2 meter depth so the neutral stress is zero and below the water table the depth is 2 meter okay so this is 2 meter from the water table okay so you have to calculate the depth into unit weight of water which is given as 10 that that is 20 kilonewton per meter square, meter square okay now one meter above the water table now we are moving upwards okay one meter so this is one meter so one meter negative pore water pressure it means there is a negative sign to be incorporated okay so negative pore water pressure so 1 into 10 minus 10 kilonewton per meter square and then again next level is this one again it is capillary zone okay there is capillary rise of water so it is nothing but you can calculate this one easily okay so minus 2 into 10 that is minus 20 okay so this is the calculation for neutral stress this is the only thing you need to remember here it is a very tricky part 
uh, as usual we can calculate the effective stress it is nothing but sigma minus u okay in the first case it is 0 minus minus 20 so it this will be positive then it is 20 kilonewton per meter square positive okay the next one is 20 20 is the total stress and minus of minus 10 is equal to plus 10 so it will be 30 kilonewton per meter square and likewise 2 meter depth and 4 meter depth so this is a calculation corresponding to total neutral and effective stress okay now we will move to the uh, drawing of variation of total neutral and effective stress how it can be done so first of all we go with total stress variation okay So in, in, in at the at the ground level there is zero we have already got that here okay so then next one meter depth it is 20 and two meter depth it is 40 and four meter depth it is 80 so this is the variation of total stress now these all are positive values okay and now we will go to the neutral stress variation okay there are some negative values minus 20 minus 10 0 and then plus 10 so at uh, so negative 20 is plotted here and then negative 10 then 0 then we will move to the 4 meter depth it will be 20 t stress is nothing but uh, the difference between sigma and u Okay, already we have uh, found out that one, that expression is already written here. Okay, written here. So, uh, it is effective stress is equal to sigma minus u. So this 20 is nothing but 0 minus minus 20, okay, is equal to 20. Already calculated here, you see is already calculated at this point at this point okay now 30 is next value 30 is positive okay 30 is positive how it is calculated 20 minus minus of minus of 10 so 30 next one is as usual sigma minus u okay next one is 80 minus 20 that is 60 so these are the variations of all the positive values these are the variations of total neutral and effective stress you can expect similar questions in the in the examinations for gate examination uh, for university examinations etc psc examination etc so uh, you can be thorough with this so this is the only only tricky portion is the capillary region where you need to be very careful for calculating it so thank you very much for listening to my class we will meet next time with a new video